What is going on, everybody? In one week from now, I will be playing one of my most anticipated games of this year, Ukulele. And I've been looking forward to this game ever since I first learned about it on Kickstarter. I have been wanting a new Banjo-Kazooie game for such a long time now, and Microsoft does not want to deliver that game. Because, quite frankly, they're stupid and they don't realize that there is a market for an old-school 3D platforming game. Because not a lot of them are being made today. Well, at least on console. So, ever since I learned that a lot of the old-school Rare developers left Rare and have created Platonic games and then they're, they want to make this type of game, which is ukulele, I got excited. And it's finally coming out. And reviews just came out today, and I've been looking at them all day. And I noticed that a lot of people seem to be having mixed opinions of the game. There are some people that really have enjoyed the game, and then there are some people that don't really enjoy the game. And to me, while reading some of these reviews, I can honestly tell who are the old school gamers and who are the newer gamers, because Ukulele was created as fan service for people like myself old school banjo kazooie fans so maybe newer gamers might not like some of the old school archaic gameplay that those games had back in the day but one review one review stuck out to me and i have to talk about it because i just could not believe what i was reading and that was jim sterling's review of ukulele now for the record I don't hate Jim Sterling. Actually, I like Jim Sterling. I have been on Jim Sterling's side in a lot of issues. I was on his side when he had that whole mess with that one development company that wanted to sue him. I forgot what they're called. But that was just a disaster. And then when he reviewed Zelda Breath of the Wild and gave it a 7 out of 10, which is still a very good score... His site was DDoSed, and he was getting death threats from Nintendo fanboys, which is just beyond disgusting, and it shows you how dumb they are. I was on his side for that. But this time, I can't. I can't be on his side. Because I just, I just couldn't believe a lot of the stuff that he was saying in his review. Now, of course he is entitled to his opinion, no doubt, but I just don't understand the basis of a lot of the stuff he was saying, but we will get into that. Now, I'm not going to go over every single thing that he said in his review, and I will link his review in the description so you can go check it out for yourself, because his review was actually very detailed and very lengthy. But while I was reading his review, while I was reading his review, I just couldn't help but wonder why he backed this game in the first place. And yes, according to Jim Sterling in his review, he said he backed Ukulele. So, if you're backing a game like Ukulele, that should tell you that they are interested in a game like Ukulele. But from Jim Sterling's review... It sounds like that he just doesn't like 3D platformers. Literally, almost everything that he complained about in his review about ukulele is pretty much every single 3D platformer from that era. From that late 90s, early 2000s era. And ukulele is created, or was created, to be like those type of games. So, it sounds like that he doesn't enjoy those type of games. Which makes me wonder why he backed the game in the first place. I don't understand it. Like, for example, he complained that the combat was brainless. It was mindless combat. Well, was the combat in banjo Zooey really in-depth? No, not really. You can really just do one move almost the entire game to kill things. There wasn't a ton of variety. Like, Or let's talk about Spyro the Dragon. That's another 3D platformer back then. You either breathe fire or you charge things. 
that's not really in depth. Or the Gex series, which is a series that unfortunately does not get a lot of love in my opinion. I really want that series to make a comeback one day, but that's kind of wishful thinking. But in that game, all you did was tail whip things. And then you occasionally picked up a power up, like a fire breath and a freeze breath. That was it. Combat in th- old school 3D platformers have has always been simplistic. So complaining about ukulele being simplistic is kind of baseless in my opinion. He also complained about, and I couldn't believe that he complained about this, he complained about having to collect a lot of things. Once again, that is pretty much every single old school 3D platformer. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe he complained about that. This is... Ukulele is based off of Banjo-Kazooie. So I'll focus more on Banjo-Kazooie than the other games. Banjo-Kazooie, you had to pick up notes. You had to pick up jiggies. You had to pick up mumbo tokens. There was a lot of things you had to collect. Or Jinjos. I could go on all day of all the things you had to collect in that game. So... Why complain about it in ukulele? Why? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand it. And obviously, he backed the game, so I would think that since he backed the game, he would know what he was getting into. But it's it sounds like he didn't for some reason. I would think that he would have been smarter than that. So... Anyway, I'm done ranting. I will link his review in the description. You can check it out for yourself. I just could not believe what I was reading. So, all right, that is it for this video. Let me know what you think. And until next time, have a good one.